And right where we left off, we are going into the obligatory desert level of a platformer. You know, the usual. This is still continuing off my most recent video, so I still have double cutter, but I'm actually going to swap out because if I remember right, I need rock and electricity in this level towards the end, so we'll just rush through here. Dang it. Well, I'll leave that sandwich. There's rock. I'll just use basic rock for now. The only bad thing about basic rock is, you know, slow. So your best bet to use is kind of pick up a little bit of speed and roll around a bit. Granted, the, there's a bit of a slowdown when you uh, stop to like explode yourself. So not the best power up. Double rock is basically a giant version of this, which is better because you travel further since you're bigger, but not by much. Alright, I believe in the next area we'll get our electricity that we need. Or maybe in the next one. I'm just gonna skip through everything here. Or maybe it's a little later. I honestly can't remember every single detail. I have pretty good memory, not gonna lie. But uh, I don't remember everything. So we're just gonna do this. See you later. We'll leave these cacti alone. Just hopping around happily, not harming anybody. Now this area, we... Uh... Yeah, it's a side-scroller. Or, well, technically it's still side-scrolling. Because... Upwards and downwards, but anyways, we just have to make sure we don't get crushed. And in the background is a knockoff Andros. The neat thing about uh, having stone right here, though, for the sections that are like downward stairs, we can kind of just roll real quickly down them, which is pretty nice. We just have to time it so I don't get crushed by that Gordo. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, we have to wait here. Because we're, oh no, we're trapped. Now nah, we're fine. And the hole just fills up. I don't think, yeah, there's nothing over there. So I believe right here at the end is where we can get electricity, I hope. Otherwise, I might have to repeat this level and I'll cut it out. Well... Ignore the uh, evil Kirby's. I don't even know what they're called. Are they mimics? Gotta roll down the hill. Yeah, there's electricity. Actually, I want to be careful here. Dang it! Hold on. We can we can spawn them again. Just gotta be careful though, because yep. There you go. So this power up. Um. I don't know the official name, but it's the, uh, what I like to call the electric yo-yo. I think if we hold, no, it just kind of bounces around. As long as I don't touch it, it kind of keeps bouncing around. But, uh, we need it there. So you saw it was yellow and brown. So we needed this specific power. Mm, not my favorite, but it definitely has the biggest range out of, uh, any power in the game, I want to say. Technically, because it can bounce all over the screen. Not very controllable. I have zero control of this uh, this rock, and I can. And also, the other big disadvantage is you cannot fly when you have the stone out. So that's why it's not my favorite power. Ouch! Did not mean to. I meant to fly and then shoot out the air, but it's fine. I'm so bad at this. Well, I got an extra life out of it, I guess. Ooh, for this one, I want to say I might need a specific power for this one too, but I won't be able to remember off the top of my head. I'll just throw that out. 
We'll use Spike. Spike's a gnarly looking power. <laughs> Oh yeah, these pillars are actually insta-kill, yeah, just don't even touch them. At least not when they're falling. Take that uh, little ice cream real quick, well, ice pop I guess. Ahow. Hmm, I can't remember. We'll we'll find out. If I have to repeat this level, so be it, but I hope I don't have to. If I remember right, yeah, the... I'll take that one up, I guess. Mm, now that I think about it... I might, uh... What's it called? What, what game was it again? There's the crystal. I will, now that I'm thinking about Nintendo, ah, dang it, Nintendo 64 games, I might throw in Banjo Kazooie, the OG. I don't know about Tui though. We'll see. But uh, Banjo Kazooie, I might do Tui. I'm a little apprehensive about just because it's a way longer game, and I want kind of these ones to be short and sweet. Let's hop on all these. Oh, oh yeah, so those platforms are uh, insta-kill, so don't get crushed. Basically, all you have to do to avoid them is just not touch the bottom. Uh, The only bad thing about using underwater is that all your power-ups are slowed down, so fortunately, we'll use this to our advantage though. I could have just flown up, but take it a little bit longer. But yeah, the music's pretty chill. That's something I like about this game. For the most part, all the music's pretty chill or, you know, happy Kirby music. Oh yeah, so this is a King DDD section. All we can really do with DDD is uh, run, smack with the hammer, and... Well, actually, no. Smack with the hammer is not the right term. Give them the bonk is the better term, I would say. There we go. I'm trying to remember, there is a crystal here. There it is. I was like, I remember something important this way. I know my channel is mostly RPGs or action RPGs, but I like kind of throwing some of these uh, more, I think it, simpler games or fun little games I, I've always liked. So we'll just go for the exit here. I want to say it's just straight to the right, or maybe up? Yeah, it's up here. So unfortunately, as King DDD, that's all you got though. Take that, uh... Oh. Take that sandwich. You can charge up the strike. Which is, I guess, technically stronger, but every enemy dies in one hit anyway, so I don't... There we go, I finally got another one. Um, 
as I was saying about King Dedede's uh, power though. Okay, so this one. We need stone. So actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here. Get rid of this. And uh, real quick, grab stone and I'll see you guys at the next level. So I'll just cut here. Okay, so just in case I got the double stone so I can also show it off right here. That's uh we get giant stone Kirby. You actually move fairly fast just because you're bigger. Granted, going uphill is pretty much impossible. So you have to make sure you jump over the uh the bigger the bigger uh little slope. But we can just kinda rush over here. So right here. Uh here the brown indicates we need stone, so we'll just grab that. I'm pretty sure regular stone would have done it, but I didn't want to move as slow. Plus, stone is solid for a lot of the early levels because you're just invincible. Granted, this level is annoying because it has little hills. Or large enough hills that uh, it hampers my ability to use this power effectively. Uh, I honestly don't remember if this is a mace or not, so we're just gonna... Dang it. Alright. Well, going back. Alright, we're back here. So now we're gonna take the correct route, or... Hopefully it's not random. Oh, that's why. Okay, so this is a little boss room. That's why. So if you wanted to get through the switch quicker, you would skip that, but... I want my crystals, dang it. Actually, nope, single star. So, uh, we can already tell though. I'll, I'll be doing a little bit of cutting, but already I can tell. Um, I'm already needing to take more than 15 minutes uh, per world as a total, so probably after world 2. I'll be... Splitting uh, the worlds into two episodes each, maybe three, depending on how long some of these stages take me. But uh, just just so it's a little consistent, at least for the first two worlds, we'll we'll go all in on the first two worlds. I hope I don't need any other powers for this one. I shouldn't, I'm pretty sure, but yes, to be safe. I'm just gonna keep an eye out for anything in particular. Unfortunately, some worlds, uh, worlds, I can't even talk. Worlds levels require you to have power ups that are not even in the level, which is unfortunate. It's a bit of a bad design, in my opinion. As somebody that actually studied game design or in level design, it kind of irks me when that's the case. So we'll just do this to be completely safe. And here we need to make sure we don't kill ourselves. Because for the player, and this is an obvious feeling, because you'll feel it's unfair that you can't, just because you didn't bring something from a, either the previous level or just a level completely unrelated to all right, this thing. Uh, unrelated to this world, for example, I'm pretty sure there's a level where I need like ice, but like ice is not even a thing you can get in any of the stages in that world. If I remember right, the crystals up here. Yep. So that's just unfortunate game this uh, level design in my opinion, but I guess they wanted to make sure you use some cool power-ups in other levels. Anyways, let's see if we can get this card. We need to get kind of close, so... Okay, nice. Got it with my foot. Yeah, so this one is uh, five stages long. Four normal stages and boss at the end. Okay, I want to say I need... 
Oh, this is a bit of a tricky one. I actually need bomb and electricity. I'm re okay. There's bomb right away, and I know there's electricity, so we're good. But uh, you'll you'll see what I mean. And right here, I honestly don't get it. It's been a desert level this whole time, but now we're just gonna. Oh yeah, this is bomb. Pretty solid power. A little slow, but it has pretty decent range when you hold down the button to throw it further. You can only throw forward and you are locked into the throw animation if you do it in the air. But yeah, we're going into a UFO. Because Kirby. The music here is kind of weird though. Not my favorite. At least not the beginning. The uh, the other part is like silly Kobe music, so I like it. Okay, we need to get electricity in this room, I'm pretty sure. So we need to keep an eye out for an electric type enemy. And obviously, uh, you have to be careful here. These uh. Um, crystal things will crush you if you're too close. Okay, so these guys are electricity. We're fine. But yeah, you have to be careful. They can crush you if you're not careful. So I'll take that. So right here, if you try to like speed run and just try to get through, that pink one could probably crush you if you're not careful. Okay, so we'll take that. So this power up, I believe this is the only time it's really needed for something. So right here, you're like, huh, why is this character here not drawing anything? But you might notice, and I didn't catch this as a kid, uh, the room's a little bit darker. Like, it's not dark that you can't see anything, but it's definitely darker than the other rooms, right? So this power-up is a light bulb. I don't think you're invincible when you're doing this, and it's not the best power-up. This is a bit of a niche one. So it's water, tree, sun. And take a guess on this next room. There's just buttons with symbols on them. So it was water, tree, uh, sun. And there's our crystal. Oh, it's at the end. I thought it was in the middle of the room. And there we go. That's all we needed that power for. So I'm going to get rid of it. Because it's pretty trash. Oh yeah, here's a little neat thing about certain enemies. So I know uh, Umbrella is like a power in the actual other Kirby games, I believe. So it's a little nice reference of uh, the power itself. So we're gonna, but we're gonna use regular electricity for a while. I'll take the powered up version though. Give us a little bit extra range, but it's basically the same one. I'm not gonna bother with getting all the stars. I already have a bunch of lives. But this is the perfect time to use this one. There we go. And these happy looking guys will electrify you if you're not careful. But this is a pretty relatively short area. And we're done. Okay, we need to get really close. So, ARPS up. There we go. This one's easy. Alright. And we're doing the boss fight right here. This boss fight's a little on the... Not long side, but actually... Normally, you would want power-ups for boss fights. But this one, though, unfortunately... Not only is this a bit of a drawn-out boss fight... Your powers are actually kind of useless for this boss fight. So right now, this uh, red diamond... Is it a diamond? I, th I guess it would be. Let me throw my power away. We won't need it. So though, there's going to be three diamonds that are slowly showing up. And we just need to avoid them. Now, I should have sprinted past. Not just try to walk past it. Yeah, this is the drawn out part of the fight. They're just kind of start going up and down until we reach the top of the elevator. Honestly, this is my least favorite boss fight because it's just 
drawn out. Like, just let me fight you, dude. Luckily, it only has... Well, technically, I guess it's two-face fight, but... As I said, this boss... Uh, you, your powers are kind of useless, because the only way to hurt them is to use their specific, like, color. Ah, dang it. Well, you can hurt them with the other powers, but it does less damage. Dang it, I didn't mean to, uh... Luckily, when you kill one, uh, it can't attack... Ah, dang it. It, c it cannot attack anymore. Wow, this guy's kicking my ass. So basically, just be careful with standing near the... The bigger sections of the, uh, the stage. Dang it. No, I did not mean to eat it. This is the only bad thing about this game. This game uses only D-pad, unfortunately, too. So it's like... Dang it, is it really doing that move again? Okay, I got him. Well, that was close. <laughs> uh, poor Kirby's getting... was beat up. Oh, I was right on the spot. Alright. And we're done with World 2. We'll let the cutscene play out and... I'll meet you guys in the next world. But, uh... Actually, now that I think about this particular cutscene, it's a little bit silly, but you know. It's Kirby. Like, fuck. Just eating like a maniac, dude. That would be really cool, though. Like, being able to draw anything and it just pops out of your canvas. And you're like, hell yeah, now I have it. And now for obligatory water levels. Alright, and now we're at Aqua Star. At least it was not called like Water Star, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.